Shalom children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. This lesson we continue in Second Sermon of Moses of Blessed Memory speech to the nation of Israel before his death and the nation of Israel carrying on into the Promised Land. This lesson we will review the portion of Deuteronomy portion of the Bible study will be Torah reading, Shoftim, Deuteronomy 16 18-21-9 with a reading of the Hof Torah, Isaiah 51 12-52 12. The next portion of the Bible study will be, Torah reading, Ki Tetze, Deuteronomy 21 10-25-19 with a Hof Torah, Isaiah 54 1-10. In this Bible study we will be going over, Devarim, Deuteronomy, Chapter 19. I entitled this Bible study, Devarim Chapter 19, and I am telling you. Why? There are several times through the Torah and Tanakh, where God's word and direction is repeated. Much like us a parents or teachers, or instructors, tend to repeat instruction or direction to members of our team or family. Even at work with co-workers, I'm sure we repeat instructions throughout a day, let alone throughout a year or decade or so on. So why does it surprise some people that the Lord our God and his servants, our blessed sages or prophets, of leaders of blessed and loving memory would repeat words, directions, commands of Almighty God? God, repeats himself for several reasons and to several different groups of people and during different times and seasons of years. For some reason we forget. For some reason, despite seeing evidence or hearing the words of Almighty God, we doubt. So yes, God repeats himself. For our benefit. Why? Grace. Kindness. Love. Mercy. Care. The list could go on and on but the reason God repeats himself is sadly because we forget. We get distracted. We get overwhelmed. We are the common factor of why God does a many great and wonder miracles and supernatural happenings. We are also the common factors of how and why evil has been allowed to gain territory on a domain that God gave to us to rule and tend over. So maybe the question we should be asking isn't why does God repeat himself? Maybe we should be asking, why does he have to repeat himself? Sila. Let's continue on. What to expect this Bible study? We will continue to increase in our intro Hebrew vocabulary, intro Hebrew terminology, Tanakh, the actual Jewish Bible. That means no New Testament, introduction, and Torah spiritual teaching. I have added to the blog newsletter the blessings before and after reading the Torah. Let's get into Jewish Terminology This week's Jewish Terminology word is Currently I am reading on my own Shabbat time the book of Isaiah. I found a video that might explain the book of Isaiah more clearly than I might. To be quite honest, I am finding the book of Isaiah difficult to not only understand, but retain. I do enjoy reading and understanding what I am currently able, but there is not a doubt in my mind I will need more in-depth instruction on this book. So for today's word which my personally owned the JPS Dictionary of Jewish Words by Joyce Eisenberg and Ellen Skinnick 2001 copyright first edition defines this week's Jewish terminology word as a Hebrew noun pronounced N-I-H-V-E-M, the second of the three books that comprise the Tanakh, along with Torah and Kethuvim. The English name of Nevi'im is Prophets. These 21 sections trace Jewish history from the time of Moses' death until the destruction of the first temple in Jerusalem and the exile of the Jews to Babylonia. They contain detailed history and commentary on ancient Jewish civilizations. Nevim also has lengthy writings about monotheism, evil, and the wages of sin, much of which are in a poetic form. The weekly Haftorah readings are taken from the various books in Nevim. Moving on to the Bible study section. Blessings of the Torah Why Blessings of the Torah? Before we begin the study of the Torah, blessing is done. In saying the blessing we are fulfilling a mitzvah and blessing Hashem, of glory and truth's beautiful Torah. A mitzvah is defined basically as 1. A commandment of the Jewish law 2. The fulfillment of such a commandment 3. A worthy deed I say these blessings every morning during my morning prayers and to ensure I am not leading others into do improper practices, I want to ensure I repeat the blessings of HaShem, our merciful Father's Torah just in case others may not have yet had a chance today. Blessings of the Torah Blessed are you, HaShem our God, King of the Universe, who sanctified us with His commandments and commanded us to be engrossed in the words of Torah. HaShem our God, 
Please make the words of your Torah pleasant in our mouths and in the mouths of your people Israel. And may we and our descendants, and the descendants of our descendants, and the descendants of your people the house of Israel, all know your name and be students of your Torah for its own sake. Blessed are you, Hashem who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Hashem our God, King of the universe who chose us from among all the peoples and gave us his Torah. Blessed are you, Hashem, giver of the Torah. Blessing before the reading of the Torah. Borchu esadu noi ham voroch. Bless the El Road who is blessed. Congregation and Oli say. Borukadu noi ham voroch lalam vo ed. Blessed be the El Road who is blessed for all eternity. Oli continues. Borukata du noi eloheinu melech ho olum, asherbochar banu mikal ha amin, nozen lanu es toroso. Borukata du noi, nosean ha toro. Blessed are you, El Rodar Gd, King of the Universe, who has chosen us from among all the nations and given us his Torah. Blessed are you El Rod, who gives the Torah. Let us begin with today's lesson. 1. Portion on portion of Bible study can be found by double-clicking this hyperlink which began it after this post-upload video. 2. Biblical text portion of Bible study this Bible study I have continued to use Metsuda Publications, 2009. The version is hyperlinked for those who are interested in reading further. Portion of a portion. Greater than Devarim chapter 19 verses 1 through 6. Greater than when Adonai, your God, annihilates the nations whose land Adonai, your God is giving you, and you inherit them and live in their cities and in their houses. Greater than separate three cities for yourself within your land that Adonai, your God, is giving you to inherit. Greater than Greater than ready the route for yourself, and divide the borders of your land into three sections that Adonai, your God, will allot you, this will serve for any murderer to flee there. Greater than and this is the matter of the murderer who may flee there to survive, whoever smites his peer without intent, and he had not been his enemy yesterday, or, the day before. Greater than and whoever comes with his peer into the woods to chop trees, and as his hand swung the axe downward to cut the wood the iron flew off the wooden handle and encounters his peer and he dies, he is to flee to one of these cities to survive. Greater than Greater than lest the blood redeemer pursue the murderer when his heart grows heated, and he catches up with him over the length of the road and he smite him dead when he has no death sentence because he had not been his enemy yesterday, or, the day before. Commentary Cities of Refuge verses Exodus 21 12-13 one who fatally strikes another party shall be put to death. If, a man, did so but not by design, it came about by an act of God, I will assign you a place to which you can flee. Numbers 35 6 The towns that you assign to the Levites shall comprise the six cities of refuge that you are to designate for, a man, who has killed someone to flee to, to which you shall add 42 towns. Numbers 35 9-10 Spoke further to Moses, Speak to the Israelite people and say to them, When you cross the Jordan into the land of Canaan. Numbers 35 11-14 You shall provide yourselves with places to serve you as cities of refuge to which, a man, who has killed someone who has slain a person unintentionally, may flee. The city shall serve you as a refuge from the avenger, so that the killer may not die unless he has stood trial before the assembly. The towns that you thus assign shall be six cities of refuge in all. Three cities shall be designated beyond the Jordan, and the other three shall be designated in the land of Canaan, they shall serve as cities of refuge. Numbers 35 15-25 These six cities shall serve the Israelites and the resident aliens among them for refuge, so that any man who slays a person unintentionally may flee there. Anyone, however, who strikes another with an iron object so that death results as a murderer, the murderer must be put to death. If one struck another with a stone tool that could cause death, and death resulted, that person is a murderer, the murderer must be put to death. Similarly, if one struck another with a wooden tool that could cause death, and death resulted, that person is a murderer, the murderer must be put to death. Numbers 35 26-34 But if the killer ever goes outside the limits of the city of refuge to which he has fled, and the blood avenger comes upon him outside the limits of his city of refuge, and the blood avenger kills the killer, there is no blood guilt on his account. For he must remain inside his city of refuge until the death of the high priest, after the death of the high priest, the killer may return to his land holding. 
Such shall be your law of procedure throughout the ages in all your settlements. If anyone slays a person, the killer may be executed only on the evidence of witnesses. Deuteronomy 4.41-43 Then Moses set aside three cities on the east side of the Jordan to which, a man, who has killed someone could escape, one who unwittingly slew another without having been an enemy in the past, he could flee to one of these cities and live, but Sarah, in the wilderness in the tableland, belonging to the Reubenites, Ramoth, in Gilead, belonging to the Gadites, and Golan, in Bashan, belonging to the Manassites. Greater than Devarim ch 19 verses 7 through 13. Greater than therefore am I commanding you the following, three cities shall you separate for yourself. Greater than and when Adonai, your God, expands your boundary, in accordance with his oath to your forefathers, and he give you the entire land that he promised to give to your forefathers. Greater than when you will be guarding this entire mitzvah to fulfill it, that I am commanding you today, to love Adonai, your God, and to go in his ways for all time, then you shall add three more cities to these three. Greater than. Greater than and let innocent blood not be shed within your land that Adonai, your God, is giving you as territory, otherwise, you will bear liability for the blood. Greater than. Greater than if there is a man who hates his neighbor, and will ambush him, arising against him and smiting him dead, and he will flee to one of these cities. Greater than the elders of his city will send for and take him from there, and will hand him over to the blood redeemer, and he will be executed. Greater than do not view him with compassion. You are to eliminate the shedding of innocent blood from Yisroel, and you will have it good. Commentary Verse 10, And let innocent blood not be shed within your land that Adonai, your God, is giving you as territory, otherwise, you will bear liability for the blood. Allowing innocence to suffer is a grave sin on all parties involved. Direct and indirect parties will incur some wrath of judgment from HaShem and in His glory. We will read more about this below in further commentary. Greater than Devarim chapter 19 verses 14 through 21. Greater than. Greater than do not move back the boundary of your neighbor that the first, settlers, determine in your territory that you will inherit in the land that Adonai, your God, is giving you to inherit. Greater than. Greater than one witness may not arise against a man about any sin or for any transgression or transgression that he transgresses, by the word of two witnesses or by the word of three witnesses let a matter be established. Greater than. Greater than if false witnesses arise against a man and bear fallacious testimony against him. Greater than. Greater than the two men shall stand, who are involved in the dispute, before Adonai, before the Kohanim and the judges who are in those days. Greater than. Greater than when the judges shall investigate thoroughly and behold, the witness testified falsely, they testified falsely against their brother. Greater than. Greater than you are to do too, each of, them as he conspired to do to his brother, and eliminate the evil from among you. Greater than. Greater than and the remainder will hear and be fearful, and they will not repeat this evil thing among you. Greater than. Greater than you are not to have compassion, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Commentary. Now with the ending sentence many might think that Torah has some kind of bloodlust. This could not be further from the truth. Greater than you are not to have compassion, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Greater than. Greater than verse 21. Verse 21 of Devarim chapter 19 is not calling for people to just go around whacking people and leaving them disabled or lame. In fact, if we remember and what we read in book of Leviticus even a slave's body if damaged by the owner of the clave, was to ensure that the slave was compensated for any loss of an eye or even tooth. We further read in the Greater than Contemporary Halokic Problems, Volume 5, Chapter 11 Insurance Related Questions 20. Greater than the identical principle is reflected in the rule formulated by the Gemara, Gitin 42b, with regard to a slave who has suffered bodily harm at the hands of his master of a nature such that the master is obligated to free him but who has not yet received a bill of manumission. Greater than the Gemara declares that if, in that interim period, the slave is the victim of battery at the hands of another person, damages are paid to the master. That is so despite the fact that, since the master is no longer entitled to the service of the slave and must emancipate him, the master has sustained no loss as a result of the battery. 
greater than once again it is evident that damage, even if unattended by financial loss, is sufficient to engender tort liability. The point here there is always a court process. And God always intended for any victims or slaves, or anyone harmed to be made whole, restored, vindicated, redeemed, and sent better off than before. The statement, an eye for an eye, means God is commanding us to give someone harmed or hurt or injured. According to the injury and nothing less. No one is to ever be taken advantage of. Not the poor, not the sad or lonely. No one. And for those who intended on harming someone. Those who actually had bloodlust. Their portion is a judgment of wrath due their wickedness. Think of God forbid. The most evil people of the world. The serial killers, those who create poisons and put the poisons in foods, those who commit abortions, those who make laws to harm citizens, force people to wear masks, force children to watch men in dresses dance like whores at a strip club. Think about the people. The so-called parents who took their children to watch men act out sexually to music and song in front of their once innocent eyes. Yes, those are the very people when they are brought to justice and judgment and hung from the gallows like Haman. We are too have no remorse for their death. Their death has rid the land and earth of must evil. May it be soon in our days. Greater than amen and amen, hashtag thank you. Ha! Shem. Greater than congratulations. You have made through another Bible study. Sound some praise and joy to our Father who is in heaven. Greater than glory to the one and only living God. Ha! Shem. I pray that everyone, everywhere, repents and returns to the only one who can save Ha! Shem. The true and only living God. Receive Torah. Be back in the covenant of God. Be at the Har sign I say yes and be saved. The choice is yours. Amen and Amen. Say it again for the people in the back. O A M A N and O A M A N. Greater than blessings after reading the Torah. Greater than. Greater than Baruch Ata Adu Noi Eloheinu Melech Ho Olum, Asher Nozen Lanu Torah Eames, Jiye Olum Nota Bisakainu. Baruch Ata Adu Noi, Nosean Ha Toro. Greater than translation. Greater than blessed are you, El wrote our God, King of the universe, who has given us the Torah of truth and planted eternal life within us. Blessed are you El Rod, who gives the Torah. Greater than credit learn the Torah blessings for an Aliyah. Biblical portion of Bible study complete. Friendly reminder, half Torah this portion is. Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 51. 12 I, yea I am he who consoles you. Who are you that you fear man who will die and the son of man, who shall be made, as, grass question mark 13 and you forgot the Lord your maker, who spread out the heavens and founded the earth, and you fear constantly the whole day because of the wrath of the oppressor when he prepared to destroy. Now where is the wrath of the oppressor question mark 14 what must be poured out hasten to be opened, and he shall not die of destruction, and his bread shall not be wanting. 15 I am the Lord your God, who wrinkles the sea and its waves stir. The Lord of hosts is his name. 16 And I placed my words into your mouth, and with the shadow of my hand I covered you, to plant the heavens and to found the earth and to say to Zion that, You are my people. 17 Awaken, awaken, arise, Jerusalem, for you have drunk from the hand of the Lord the cup of his wrath, the dregs of the cup of weakness you have drained. 18 She has no guide out of all the sons she bore, and she is no one who takes her by the hand out of all the sons she raised. 19 These two things have befallen you. Who will lament for you? Plunder and destruction, and famine and sword. With, whom will I console you? Question mark 20 Your sons have fainted, they lie at the entrance of all streets like a wild ox in a net, full of the wrath of the Lord, the rebuke of your God. 21 Therefore, hearken now to this, you poor one, and who is drunk but not from wine. 22 So said your master, the Lord, and your God who shall judge his people, behold, I took from you the cup of weakness. The dregs of the cup of my wrath you shall no longer continue to drink it. 23 And I will place it into the hand of those who cause you to wander, who said to your soul, Bend down and let us cross, and you made your body like the earth and like the street for those who cross. Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 52 One awaken, awaken, put on your strength, O Zion, put on the garments of your beauty, Jerusalem the holy city, for no longer shall the uncircumcised or the unclean continue to enter you. To shake yourselves from the dust, arise, sit down, O Jerusalem, free yourself of the bands of your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. 3 For so said the Lord, you were sold for naught, 
and you shall not be redeemed for money. For for so said the Lord God, My people first went down to Egypt to sojourn there, but Assyria oppressed them for nothing. 5 And now, what have I here, says the Lord, that my people has been taken for nothing? His rulers boast, says the Lord, and constantly all day my name is blasphemed. 6 Therefore, my people shall know my name, therefore, on that day, for I am he who speaks, here I am. 7 How beautiful are the feet of the herald on the mountains, announcing peace, heralding good tidings, announcing salvation, saying to Zion, Your God has manifested his kingdom. 8 The voice of your watchmen they raised a voice, together they shall sing, for eye to eye they shall see when the Lord returns to Zion. 9 Burst out in song, sing together, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has consoled his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. 10 The Lord has revealed his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. 11 Turn away, turn away, get out of there, touch no unclean one, get out of its midst, purify yourselves, you who bear the Lord's vessels. 12 For not with haste shall you go forth, and not in a flurry of flight shall you go, for the Lord goes before you, and your rear guard is the God of Israel. Sepharia.org Today's Bible study is complete. Thank you merciful HaShem, for allowing us to meet this day. Closing comment, blessings after reading the Torah, and priestly blessing in all sources are hyperlinked. Note, all sources are hyperlinked to allow more translatable version in podcast. I pray others got something out of this portion, Tanakh Bible study, and spiritual Torah teaching. Until next time, let us close with the priestly blessing. And Hashem our God spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, Yuverichecha Adonai Vayishmiricha. Yar Adonai Panavaleka Vichanika. Yesa Adonai Panavaleka Vyasam Lecha Shalom. The LD bless you and keep you. The LD make his face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The LD lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In Hashem and Hashem's alone mighty glorious name. Forever and ever. Olain and Olain. Cover art created by Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study, Photos, Apps, Internet Pull or Facebook Page, Credits are noted on art and or hyperlinked for credit. Click and follow for shorts. For those that are new to this Bible study, Welcome, the following is a brief review of this Bible study. 1. This blog post will have the resources and sources links for the Season 5 Bible Studies. 2. All books used and readings from During Live Bible Study can be found on our website, Marie Speaks God's Grace. Live in the Season 5 portion of the website. 3. After live Bible studies have completed, I will upload to Rumble and post link in this blog. How we conduct Bible studies here. We believe in one and only one God. Hashem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We do not and will not pray in any other's name or praise any other, but Ha. Shem. Exodus chapter 20, 2-14. God spoke all these words, saying. I the Lord am your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a sculptured image or any likeness of what is in the heavens above, or on the earth below, or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I the Lord your God am an impassioned God, visiting the guilt of the parents upon the children, upon the third and upon the fourth generations of those who reject me. But showing kindness to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. We believe God has called each of us to search matters out. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. And the glory of a king to plumb a matter. Like the heavens in their height, like the earth in its depth, is the mind of kings, unfathomable. Proverbs 25 2-3 This is one reason why here at Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study, we review several historical references and resources, of which we provide links and or screenshots for others to study at their leisure. We have been directed by God Wonderful and Almighty, to go book by book, verse by verse, sharing His Torah and Tanakh. We believe as directed by God our Heavenly Father, 
learning and growing in Torah and Tanakh leads to understanding and wisdom, this shall only be achieved in reading, studying, and sharing His word for ourselves, not relying on man. Learning, growing, and studying with our LD is to be done with others that are like-minded, but more so during our personal time. The blogs are written to assist those just beginning to study the Bible as a starting point. The live or recorded Bible studies are to cover and release opportunities and guidance, but ultimately is one's own personal responsibility to rule, govern, and be purposeful in their relationship with God. Proverbs 22, 4-6 The effect of humility is fear of the Lord. Wealth, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are in the path of the crooked. He who values his life will keep far from them. Train the lad in the way he ought to go. He will not swerve from it even in old age. Ezekiel 18, 20-22 The person who sins, he alone shall die. A child shall not share the burden of a parent's guilt, nor shall a parent share the burden of a child's guilt, the righteousness of the righteous shall be accounted to him alone, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be accounted to him alone. Moreover, if the wicked one repents of all the sins that he committed and keeps all my laws and does what is just and right, he shall live he shall not die. None of the transgressions he committed shall be remembered against him, because of the righteousness he has practiced, he shall live. Is it my desire that a wicked person shall die? Says the LD God. It is rather that he shall turn back from his ways and live. May Hashem, blessed be he continue to bless us all and may we all be forever written in the book of life. Amen and Amen. A little about me, I love Hashem, Torah, and Tanakh. I am not perfect. If we meet, we talking about Torah, drinking tea or coffee, and what books are out about Hashem. And maybe over some kosher pizza. Maybe over some kosher steak, make over super sweet kosher cake. Have a fun laugh about you guess it. Torah. Or on a bike, or during a hike, or while riding on a train in the rain as the rain falls nicely on the plane in Spain, but either way, we'll be talking about Torah. What is import to me colon dot 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 a relationship with our Father Hashem our merciful Creator, Savior, and Wise King. Live in Torah, live with family and community of tribe. My thoughts, we may not be perfect, but we study, we learn, we laugh, and we grow, we try try and have the courage to try again. My goals, to learn and grow and share love of Torah and Hashem with others who are willing or open to hearing. I have been using the Minds.com account and Rumble, Live Bible Study Video Post, Rumble As main accounts Lastly, never lose faith Let's continue to fear and love Hashem like A and pray Pray for our nation, enemies, fellows and many lost sons and daughters of Torah to return to Hashem Blessed be He forever and ever, Amen Ha! Shem is with me, I shall not be afraid Blessings and Prayers Marie. Let US begin. Link to Rumble Live Bible Study. Link to previous Bible study. Audio podcast blog version of Bible study. Audio of blog. Link to YouTube Live Link Bible Study. Cover art credit. Fair use. Under the Fair Use Doctrine of the US Copyright Statute, it is permissible to use limited portions of a work, including quotes, for purposes such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, and scholarly reports. There are no legal rules permitting the use of a specific number of words, a certain number of musical notes, or percentage of a work.